I want to clear up some misconception. When I shared my experience of how I used Johanna over the summer, we went to Europe for six weeks. Mm. Is it family that during the pandemic we weren't able to see for three years? I just didn't have the bandwidth to pack for four people and then also figure out what restaurants are going to be kid friendly there. What are some of the hikes we can do as a family that a four year old can handle? My Johanna team got on board and they just found all of those resources for me. Some of the feedback I got was, oh, this is for rich people. I'm curious, you know, do you ever get that sort of pushback? Surprisingly, not too often because the members who came in get the value. But on the first look, people are like, wait a second. Is yeah. this expensive? I'm not used to paying monthly fee for hundreds of dollars to someone. But um, once they're in, they never complain because they get that time back. Some members get eight to 10 hours a week back. For example, things like being on hold with a cable company, you know, like everybody has that problem. Like the hours go by. Well, like what if somebody else helped you to do that? What if like that check bounced and you can't figure out why? Like what if somebody else can help you with that? What if this weekend you just want to have a quick getaway to just have a picnic in the park or something, but you do that all the time. So what if something a little different from the usual? All of those are no extra cost to you, yeah. but it buys you time. Everything in life is a trade-off. And you talked about how this service is $10 a day. So for me, if I have to forego that latte at a cafe, which is what, $7 now? <laughs> yeah. To have more hands on deck to help me, that is a trade-off I'm willing to make. I think some of the blockage comes from literally reformulating our brain to be able to delegate. Yeah, it's so true. I struggled delegating too. Um, so, you know, I was a professor before and I was making, you know, they don't pay you very much to be a professor, it turns out. Um, yeah. And we had twins and uh, my husband and I couldn't manage. He was also a professor. And we decided that we're going to get a cleaner, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to delegate. My mom would tell me like, what a terrible mother I am. So I decided that um, I'll get a cleaner, but I'm gonna clean the house first. So by the time the cleaner came, the house was very clean and I felt less guilt. It took me seriously about a year before I could actually show her my dirty house and then let her clean the house. Delegating is not a natural thing, but a learned thing for me as well. Event planning kind of things is fairly common. Somehow home falls apart all the time on little places, like blinds are always broken, garage is always a mess and you have it on a to-do list, but you never get to it. I've done uh, research all over the world. And then one of the things that was super common globally was that every family worries about what's for dinner tonight. It's a cognitive load that weighs on all of us every single day. Before Johanna, I was solving it by doing it all by myself on Sundays. I would spend hours planning for the whole week. But now with Johanna, Johanna helps me come up and suggest recipes for different days. They already know that kids, you know, preferences, allergy, and all of that. So based on that, they can make suggestions and I can say, yeah, actually change that Korean to, you know, Italian on this day. Mm -hmm. Then boop, everything is ready. And then if the days that I need grocery, they arrive automatically. Days that I need her to go to restaurants, the reservations are already made. And I don't have to think about it anymore during the week. That's like 50% of my life. <laughs> right? It's also something that they can do under budget. Like if they say like, you know, I want to do this, but I don't want to spend any more. That can be the absolute criteria for us to look for the right people for them. So yeah. they don't have to make those calls. Like, you know, four different places and still don't get the pricing right. We do that for them. Once you get over the hump, the world, the floodgates open up how you can use Johanna. Yeah. And I had a, I had a Johanna runner come. Oh, we great. These suitcases broken, like the wheels broken years it's like been on my to-do list and I'm like I don't even know how to go about yeah. fixing this suitcase so I literally just handed it off to him and I'm like maybe go to a hardware store and see what parts we need for these wheels he went above and beyond he not only picked up soil for my cacti that I needed he got the nuts and bolts missing on the suitcase and he somehow sweet talked the guy at the hardware store to fix it for me wow that's great yeah Oh, within an hour. And I'm thinking three years that this has been 
taking up brain space, he got done in an hour. Mm -hmm. and yeah. he, so then the floodgates open. I was like, can you do this? Can you do that? Can, you know? And so it really is about you teaching yourself how to delegate. I love that. When you look at your to-do list, initially there might be 10 things and you might be only willing to delegate two things. That's okay. Yeah. Start from that. Last but not least, my New York friends want to know when you're coming to New York. <laughs> you know what? Actually, we are planning to be available nationwide for the holidays. So stay tuned. What? 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 You know there's 50 states, right? Yep. We're so busy wanting to help as many families as possible. So we're running really fast.